Hey everybody, Tony here. How are you guys doing? I'm doing well. I hope you guys are doing well, keeping warm. Uh, it's cold outside, lots of rain, lots of snow, at least where I'm at. And i got to deal with that all the time on the way back and forth to work and running the kids everywhere, but it's what we have to do, right? Hopefully you're somewhere a lot warmer and nicer and don't have to deal with any of that. But if you're like me and you have to deal with all that snow, then you could have some issues around your house dealing with the cold, the ice, the freezing temperatures, and so on and so forth. And you know, my house has that problem too. And today I'm going to talk about my bathroom problem. I've been dealing with this issue for, I don't know, probably several years now, and I just got around to finally looking into what's going on and trying to get it straightened out. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so here's what's happening, right? My shower is, this is the basement shower, it's pretty close to the hot water tank, probably only about maybe six feet from where the hot water tank is at. But for some reason, sometimes when I take showers, the water's fine, and sometimes it's pretty chilly, especially if people are using hot water around the house. It tends to run kind of lukewarm. And in the winter time, it tends to get colder because the outside temperature of the water coming in is noticeably colder. And so it's just colder because it's mixing that cold in with the hot and having that effect. Um, sometimes when I come down here after the family has been showering and I jump in, it's actually cold on my skin. And I've dealt with it for a really, really long time, and today I decided I'm going to do something about it. I want to see what's going on. I uh, started looking around and thinking that maybe it was one of the valves wasn't opened all the way, but turned out all of that straightened out. So we're going to jump into the shower here and rip the handle off and take a look and see what's going on. So here we go. Here is a shower, just one handle. This uh, handle faucet is made by Delta. It is a Delta monitor, and I'm going to take this handle off right here and see what we're getting into to get this straightened out. So bear with me here. All right, folks, well, this is a lot easier to fix than I thought it was. If you look at the plastic insert right in front of us, it's set right in between the cool and hot. It looks like it's on an optimal setting right about here. All right, there's a little divot. And what this guy does, if I push this back, you can see it a lot better there. What this does is this is actually limiting how much hot water uh, gets joined in with the cold. And so basically to fix this problem, we are just going to take this guy and turn it all the way that we can and reset it back in place. And that's it. Put the handle back on and fix this back up and now my hot water problems should go away. So that's literally it, everybody. That should be like a two-minute video there, hopefully. And I'm kind of sad that I didn't do this like two years ago instead of taking cold showers for so long because that was so simple. One screw to take the handle off, flip that little guy around, and boom, you're done. So if you have the same problem, you can tackle that yourself. Don't call a plumber. Don't do anything crazy. Just take the handle off, fix it yourself, and all of your hot water problems will be fixed just like mine. Thanks for watching.